Hey, we're going to share with you our top three reasons why you should visit the Jaguar Rescue Center in Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica. Stay tuned to the end. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Makai's World and Coast of Cousins Adventures. It's a warm day here in the Caribbean, and we've been hanging out with Sarah Kennedy. She's been giving us some insights and education about the Jaguar Rescue Center here in Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica. So if you did not get a chance to watch the first episode, you can check it out here. And she also went in and we had a video about Sloss, which is her world, which is what she really knows about. And she gave us a whole bunch of insight about the Sloth kingdom so anyways you can check out that video right here all right so what you just saw is a short visual journey through the rescue center and if you enjoyed it please give us a like subscribe share comment all those things and stay tuned until the end and we'll give you our top three reasons why you should visit the jaguar rescue center here in puerto viejo costa rica but first let's take a look at the national animal of costa rica do you know what it is and we'll also dive into the small controversy about this and other rescue centers. But let's quickly mention that we do all of our recording for now on the GoPro Hero 8 Black and all of our editing on the MacBook Pro. Uh, so if you know anyone that's getting into traveling and capturing and recording and wants to really get out there and just do this whole thing, uh, go ahead and click the links below and check out the GoPro Hero Black. Um, they've got a newer edition out. We'll also put the link to that below. Uh, it really is good for getting started on this whole thing. But let's go ahead and have Sarah teach us more about the rescue center. Here we go. We had two deer come in, a male and a female. They were both tiny baby fawns, and I'm sure most of you have seen Bambi. Same story, their mums were killed by hunters. Now, deer are actually very difficult to hand raise, so they imprint on people. So it's like a low tolerance to being raised by humans. Being bottle fed, which was what we had to do because they were so young, they're too humanized to go back in the wild. This animal is actually nearly extinct in Costa Rica. So it's been hunted to near extinction and we have managed to repopulate a little bit because they had six babies together. Four of which have been returned to the wild because the, the mum, Chai, raised all of them. She's awesome. This animal is actually the national animal of Costa Rica, which I think is ridiculous because Costa Rica, if you didn't know, has 6% of the entire world's biodiversity. They don't have to make an animal up, gone with a deer, but it was to raise awareness. There's hardly any of them left in the wild. Sometimes people see them a lot on Route 32, particularly near Earth University. They're doing a tracking project with mm. them at the moment. So I'm trying to replenish the populations and stuff as well. There is some controversy with the, the Jaguar Rescue Center. Like in um, the area. Yeah, yeah, like about, you know, them, them calling it a zoo and, and, yeah. and things like that. Like somewhere that 
I feel is not good for the animals. I'm never gonna do that. Center, they've literally given up their lives for these animals. They didn't come here to start a rescue center. They started it because people kept bringing animals to them. They knew they needed a safe place for them and they knew people were gonna keep bringing animals to them. So they started the rescue center. We now accept six to 800 animals every year. Although by the end of August this year, over 600 have already come in and their main goal is to get every single animal back in the world if they can they belong i don't think any place that's trying to do right by animals and try and get them back in the wild can be a bad place especially when they're treated as well as they are at the jaguar rescue center so that's just my opinion of someone who's been working with animals for a long time and wants them to be happy and healthy in the wild. So Inka, the founder, she's been doing this for over 12 years now and she's having to feed newborns two to three hours throughout the night, every night, uh, but, which is what she's been doing for 12 years. She's working up her butt off basically to save these animals. Her husband's also no longer here, sadly. He passed away um, three years ago, overnight of a heart attack. So she's doing this all on her own now as well. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't. there's lots of things that happen in many rescue centers that aren't perfect, but they're trying to do their best and what they do is really amazing in my opinion so so after two months here at the center he's today in Pindalba so maybe if you go later to the beach you can see him around the trees in the almonds okay? <laughs> thank you so much because without you it will be impossible our job so that was a very compelling story about the rescue center and its founders so if you liked it or if you didn't like it, please hit the like button anyways, man. Comment on the video and follow us and all those good things. So here are the top three reasons, in our opinion, to visit the Jaguar Rescue Center in Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica. Number one, the most obvious reason to go is because you could see all these really cool animals up close. The thing about rescuing animals in one of the most biodiverse countries in the world and areas in the world means that you come across some really interesting creatures. So it's worth going there just for that. Number two, it makes it even better that you get to learn about the animals and their natural habitats. It's a great visit for family travelers or family vacation or any traveler because that way you get to have a truly immersive education lesson about these some of these truly amazing animals. Uh, they also do a night hike and tour if you really want to dive in and go deep and get the whole experience. I'll put the link to their website and everything down below in the description. Number three, I think the most important reason to visit the rescue center is that you'll be supporting what I feel and what we feel as a family is a good cause. We've seen their truck all around town rescuing all kinds of animals. And we know firsthand that if you call them about any animal that is injured or endangered, they're gonna come running. So if you're gonna be in the Puerto Viejo area, take some time and stop by the Jaguar Rescue Center. It's well worth your time and money. So even though Sarah gave us a lot more interesting information, then we're able to show you during these Rescue Center episodes. We're gonna finish this series for now, but maybe Sarah will think about starting her own channel and doing a weekly Rescue Center update. Maybe you can talk her into it, I don't know. But thank you all for hanging out with us on Makai's World and Coast to Coast Adventures. Please subscribe, follow, comment, like, share, and do all those things so you can stay up to date with us with all our new episodes about travel, travel hacks, travel gear, and just having fun with cinematography. So take care, and we'll see you soon. Pura vida, and peace.